Ahead of the June governorship election in Ekiti State, alignments and realignments of forces have continued in the state. With Governor Kayo Defaimi ending his second term in office, there have been agitations for the Southern Senatorial Zone to produce the next governor. Well, this is just as the APC in the state uh, postponed its primary elections to pick the party's flag bearer. Well, joining us to look at the issues is former member of the House of Representatives, Congressman Bimbo Daramola. Thank you so much for joining us on Newsnight tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so let's uh, begin with this issue of zoning right. that you know the the uh other aspirant before you you came on actually suing for zoning mm. to the southern part of ikichi mm. what do you make of this well, well it's a legitimate um opinion it's a legitimate view and um i'm not going to be the one to say oh dismissively oh it doesn't matter i think it matters for um inclusion mm. inclusion is healthy um, but then it doesn't stop there. What I would expect people to also say is that um, zoning, or to also realize is that zoning doesn't put food on, food on the table. Um, poverty does not recognize where it's coming from. If you're poor in Oya, you're poor in um, um, Ise, Ire, anywhere. Mm -hmm. Poverty or has... In is, or in Efo Poverty is a universal currency. And so you will need more than zoning to cure it. Heal health, poor medical, health care situation, and all of those things. You will need more than um, where you come from, you know. Because if you go to Boye, if you go to um, the north, the south, wherever it is, mm -hmm. you will find the same challenge that faces the man in, the kit in anywhere across the state also faces everybody else. So I will expect that what they will bring to the table will be a little bit more. And I don't think that's... Is that what uh, Adopo Yami Bamidele candidacy will bring oh, to absolutely. the governorship of Ikiti State? Uh, without doubt. In without what, doubt. But I was, going to land on, yes. I was going to land on this. Um, it, will, it will be nice. I don't think that zone is going to fall short of qualified and people who could do the job. My friend who just left here, um, say, um, Bamishile. Honorable friend Bamishile, yes. my friend of so many years and um, very cerebral. I mean, he's been, a, he's been a former speaker, you know. So I, I would expect that that would be the first thing for us to say, okay, I can fix this, I can fix that, I can fix that. And then it becomes additional impetus to say, I come from a zone that seems to be um, slightly uh, unfairly treated in the past 22 years. But more than anything else, mm -hmm. um, um, Senator Michael Okoyemba-Midele believes that, yes, it would make a lot of sense to also be very sensitive to that sen sentiment, but it doesn't hurt there. There are present challenges that are facing us today, just as it is across the country. Mm. And I would expect that anybody aspiring to take the job after Dr. Fahimi will be in tandem with the realities on ground. We cannot mask or obviate that under sentiments of where you come from now let me tell you one of the things that will shock you a little bit yes um, very quickly because we, we okay. have barely four minutes oh so. three people are coming from that zone <laughs> right now three people are mm -hmm. jostling for that position from that zone and that for me shows that they've spread the same thing you know so the votes coming out of six local governments will probably be shared bit across three individuals mm -hmm. so how do you expect anybody to believe that there's an agenda for that purpose and um, how come this agenda only comes up when it's election when the time. election yeah. comes around so the, back to the question i asked you yeah uh Bamidele, <laughs> senator yes. Bamidele, right is seems to be one of the major yes if not the the front runner in this uh, contest obviously he is what exactly stands him out of the rest okay fine um experience exposure reach contact i'll tell you one thing that's clear the job of the next governor of the state is well caught up. Just as soon as he turns the last page mm -hmm. of his inaugural speech or inauguration speech, the realities will hit at him. And I will expect that whoever takes this job knows what to do from day one. Okoye Miba Mideli does. He's been commissioner, special advisor in the government as, as where onchos, head, very fiery people are being in cabinet in Lagos State. He was special advisor this, he was commissioner that, and, and for 12 years unbroken. Mm. Lagos State is not a place where you keep your job because of familiarity. You keep it because you're worthy of that state. 
and for somebody to have been a part of the process of a new Lagos starting from 1999 under Shiwajibala Amir and then going under a cerebral governor like um, Fashola, you don't think that guy is a minion. Well, there are indications that the power of incumbency that may not necessarily be on his side right now well, uh, may uh, play against him. How is he well, contending with that? Incumbency is a factor, no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. But the love of the people is something that is more than incumbency. This is not. This man is not a greenhorn. He's done this over and over. He has proved his metal. He's somebody that every equity person knows, and they know him. Mm -hmm. He knows them, and they know him. And above that, the next governor of equity state will be somebody who comes to table with so much of vast, vast um, contact and ability to be able to tap resources and the greatest resources available or the greatest resource available to anybody in the 21st century will not only be your knowledge but the extent of friendships strategic linkages that you can tap from and particularly you, for and you believe like he has state. all of that oh. he's saying he prefers direct primaries yes. to indirect yes i mean he uh, said that an idea of yeah exactly he why. said that I, he said and he qualified it properly he yeah. said ideologically and he said that because he believes that it is safest to let the people elect but them, the, the, the leaders. You understand? He feels that the idea of having indirect primaries of a few people who could be subject to coercion, um, inducement of some sort in different ways could jeopardize the expression of the will of the common people. And of course you know that minority would have their way, majority would have their say. And so the, ideolo the ideological bent of Senator Michael Okwebamdele is to respect the ideological underpinning of getting people to vote along their wishes. If I send you on an errand, mm -hmm. you could be corrupted. You yeah. could, you, I mean, any, you, anything could happen. Mm -hmm. But if I get everybody to go do the same thing, at the, then same time. at the same time, then whatever you get will be a reflection of what the way the people want elections to All go. All right, thank you so yeah. much, Bimbo Darabola, for thank joining us, uh, former uh, House of Reps member. Yeah.